Hi guys, today we're going to be making suji halwa, which is semolina halwa, and this is a Fijian Indian recipe. We will be needing a few things for this recipe today. The first thing we will need is a fruit mix. The fruit mix we're using today is a very basic one. It only has cherry, citrus, and grape. Uh, don't use the one with apple or pawpaw in it because that won't go nicely with the suji halwa today. Uh, we will also be using one cup of semolina, half a cup of salted butter, one pack of thickened cream. Uh, this is just standard fresh cream that you can get from the shops. Uh, one can of condensed milk and one box of full cream regular milk. Each of these items should be between 250 to 300 grams. Uh, we will also need one tablespoon of crushed coconut, uh, five to six green cardamoms, uh, half a nutmeg and just a pinch of salt. The first step is to get the green cardamom and the nutmeg and put them in the blender. After we have ground the green cardamom and the nutmeg we will sift it. Next we're going to heat the butter. Uh, we don't want to heat the butter, we don't want to melt the butter the whole way. We want to put the semolina in while there's still a little bit of solid butter left in there because if we fry the whole butter then the water in the butter will be evaporated and that's quite important for this dish. The semolina we've used is a very fine semolina and we just want to mix that and add the pinch of salt. The salt even though it's just a pinch I've noticed when it's missing that's when you notice it the most. Uh, it doesn't add uh, saltiness to the flavor but it's important that it's in there. You should cook the semolina until it starts giving off a nice scent and changes to a brownie color. We're, we're using a non-stick wok because this is what we're comfortable with. Uh, once the semolina has changed color, you can add the cardamom and nutmeg and the thickened cream and the milk. Uh, we're going to mix that thoroughly and we're going to cook it until it starts to thicken up slightly. Once you notice it started to thicken up, we can add the condensed milk and the fruit mix. Uh, mix it and then add the crushed coconut. Now we're going to cook this until we start to see a change in the consistency of the dish. Uh, we're aiming for a clumpy look uh, as you can see. Uh, a way to tell that it's ready is once it becomes clumpy it will have a fluffy look and it will also be bouncy. And once you see that, you know your dish is ready. Uh, do give it a try. We hope you like the video. Uh, this dish, again, is thanks to all our VGN friends out there. Uh, good luck. Thanks for watching.